Before the victims' names were released, dozens of parents and family members waited for a phone call that said their loved one was safe. CBS 7 sat down with two families this afternoon with two very different outcomes. Lauren Landman joins us now with that story. Lauren. Jay Tatum, we received multiple calls, emails, and messages asking if we had a list of those who were involved. Unfortunately, we were waiting as well for almost 12 hours before the names were released. One family we spoke with lost a father, son, and husband today, and just hours after they heard the news, a corrections officer mistakenly called to schedule his release. <laughs> It took hours for Terry Baldock, a mother of an inmate at the Abilene Middleton unit, to find out if her son was involved in the fatal bus crash this morning. Is this a waiting I game? Need Not knowing where he was headed, Terry was only informed that her son was transported early this morning. I don't know details, and that's the hardest part, is not knowing. Thankfully for Terry, after hours of worrying and dozens of phone calls, news finally came that her son was indeed transported, but traveled north towards Dallas. Sadly, not all families got the same news. Just 15 miles away from the crash site, one Odessa family is left coping with the loss. My dad's gone. Noel Lozano is the son of one of the inmates killed in the early morning accident. Jeremiah Rodriguez was the father of three children. I'm going to watch my little sisters take care of my mom. The family says the loss is, of course, difficult, but what makes it even harder is knowing Jeremiah was scheduled to be released to return home to his family in just a few weeks. We've been talking about it for the last few weeks, and. JR's getting out, he's about to get out, and we were kind of excited, you know, to see him. Not to judge him based on where he was and understand that he was my pops, and we had people here that loved him and that cared for him. And of course, there are nine other families mourning tonight. We have a full list of all of those involved on our website, CBS7.com. In the studio, I'm Lauren Landman, CBS7 News.